Welcome back to another week in speculation. I'm Joshua GoCollect, and this week we're kicking things off with a look at some Loki issues that could be experiencing a comeback. Before we get started, I want to encourage you to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out when we drop a new video. This episode contains content from our blog, so if you want to read the full story, check out the link below. But let's dive right in. Believe it or not, the debut of the second season of Loki is a little under a month away. It's arguably the most successful MCU show in Disney Plus's history, and many fans are eager for the next chapter in Loki's story. We saw so many surprises in season one, including Lady Loki, He Who Remains, Kid Loki, The Timekeepers, and even a brief cameo of Throg. How have the first appearances of Mobius, Kid Loki, and Throg fared since the debut of season one? And what impact will Loki have on the comic book market, if at all? Fantastic Four 353 has lost 86% of its value since reaching its all-time high in June 2021. Even the immense popularity of season one of Loki and Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson's strong chemistry couldn't save this book from a massive downturn as compared with 2022 numbers. A 9.6 for this book, the most common grade on the CGC census, reached its all-time high of $263.05 in June 2021 just as Loki debuted. 22 months later, this book reached its all-time low of just $10 sold during an auction on eBay, and it's currently leveled off in the $50 range. If the second season of Loki is a hit and boosts the value of the books into the $75 range, it might be a good time to unload any copies you may have. Thor 617 has lost 72% of its value since reaching its all-time high in July 2021. Like Fantastic Four 353, this book also plummeted in value shortly after season one of Loki concluded. A 9.8 copy of Thor 617 reached its all-time high of $485.99 in July 2021. And although the most recent sale of a 9.8 sold for a respectable $140 in June 2023, another 9.8 sold for a mere $76 back in April. Thor 617 could have a bit more potential to recover some of its losses, especially if Kid Loki joins the Young Adventures in the MCU in the not too distant future. So if that happens, keep an eye out on the higher grades. Thor 364 has lost 79% of its value since reaching its all time high in September 2021. Although episode 5 of Loki references Thor 365, the market has demonstrated more interest in Thor 364 the issue where Thor transforms into a frog, and also includes the first appearance of Puddlegulp, the frog who would later become Throg in the next issue. Like the two other issues we've discussed, Thor 364 has also taken a pummeling since it reached its all-time high of $462.88 in September 2021. If Throg shows up in season two of Loki, then he might have the potential to become the next baby Yoda. And Disney may think so as well, as it recently started selling a Throg Shoulder Sitter Plush for $22 on its website. Looking at Loki Season 2, we see several new actors joining the cast, including Liz Carr from The Witcher, Kate Dickey from Game of Thrones, and Raphael Casal from Blindspot. Casal is playing Brad Wolf, an Earth 616 character who was an actor playing Zaniac, who was in turn possessed by Zaniac in Thor 319. So it could be interesting to see how that character plays into Kang, Loki, and the TVA. Will these minor characters prompt collectors to start digging through the dollar bins? Lastly, as news of the upcoming Fantastic Four film come to light, it could change the course of these keys as we head deeper into the Kangverse in Phase 6 of the MCU. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see. Loki isn't the only Marvel series with the second season on the horizon. As reported in CBR and Geek Tyrant, it appears as though a second season of She-Hulk has been confirmed. Season one debuted over a year ago, so let's take a look at She-Hulk major keys and see how the news might affect it. The first season of She-Hulk generated controversy, especially because of its poor CGI in several episodes. The show wasn't perfect, but there are some obvious areas where Marvel could improve in the second season. With the market having forgotten about She-Hulk, maybe it's a good time to buy any of her key issues before season two arrives. Savage She-Hulk number one has lost about 73% of its value since it reached its all-time high 
in December 2021. When you review this issue's sales data over time in its most common grade on the CGC census, a 9.6, it's clear this book has taken a massive beating over the last year. After reaching an all-time high of $633 in June 2021, about a year before the debut of the Disney Plus show, the value of a 9.6 has absolutely plummeted. Today, the FMV of a 9.6 is $230. The last sale for a 9.6 occurred on August 25th for a mere $170. Purchasing it for that amount is like going back in time five years and buying it in August of 2018 before the show had even been announced. If you look at long-term return on investment for this issue, it's actually done very well. For instance, back in early 2013, a 9.6 sold for around $50. Five years later, in early 2018, a 9.6 sold for $115. That's roughly an 18% annual return on this issue, which would easily beat the average annual return of the S&P 500. While this is still a way off of its all-time high in 2021, it's still $90 higher than the last sale of a 9.6 that happened on eBay. Of course, no one can predict the ups and downs of the market, but the available sales data seems to suggest that this book has overcorrected. As long as you're willing to hold on to this book over a long term, at least five to 10 years, then you may be getting a pretty good deal if you can purchase this book for $230 or less. When thinking about value over the long term, it's also important to remember the long-standing cultural impact She-Hulk has had on popular culture. She is the first superhero to break the fourth wall Yes, before Deadpool, and she has made numerous top 100 to top 200 lists, including Wizards 2011 top 200 comic book characters list, and comic book resources 2016 top 100 Marvel characters list. And of course, who can forget John Byrne's iconic run with the character and sensational She-Hulk. And last but not least, the most recent 2022 run from Rainbow Rowell, Jen Barthel, and Rico Renzi. But anywho, would you purchase a Savage She-Hulk number one at current price point? Is it a good investment over the long term? Just to note, next week we won't have a new episode of Week in Spec. But don't worry, we have some new content at the same time with some special guests. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in for another Week in Spec. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video. See you next time.